Okay, so I have a friend with a Dell Inspiron 15 N1530, and he's currently having an issue where I'm trying to set up Windows 10 on the device for him. And after a little bit of research, I have figured out the fact that Windows 10 installation media does not actually have a driver built in that will support the uh, graphics built into the AMD processor that has the uh, graphics coprocessor within. So during the installation, it will copy files. It will get to the point where it's detecting hardware and this device is just locking up and sitting in a black screen, it doesn't actually go any further. Hard drive activity stops. Uh, actually started a, a Windows 10 install about two or three times before I started to look into it. Um, I went through the process of installing Windows 7, that went just fine. Uh, I installed Windows 8.1, that went just fine. So that's made me start actually looking at the process here and see what's going on. And this appears to solve the issue. So, Today's date is June 23rd, 2017. I'm sure I'll put that in the title of the video as well, but just for a auditory reference for a time frame on this Windows 10 update, this is after what they're calling the Creators Update. So 1703 is the Windows 10 release. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is and I've cheated a little bit I have some of these things uh, staged already so it's gonna speed this up a little bit but you're gonna want to start the Windows media creation tool I suppose we ought to probably start with uh, where to get that so if you just Google uh, Microsoft creation tool it will bring you to a page that looks uh, hold on copy grab some Firefox action and go something like this where they're saying you can update or you can get the creator tool download this uh, they've had this out for a while so this will either up, uh, upgrade the machine that it's currently on or you can spit out media so your install ISO uh, and, and work from there that will give you this tool here so you're going to want to run that it's going to bring up uh, are you sure you want to run this program will make changes to your system. You want to hit yes. I'll let this run here for a moment. Uh, if you want to do this, you got to click accept. I'm not reading the EULA. You're more than welcome to. So I don't want to upgrade this machine. I want to create install media that I can then work with something else. Here everything is fine. Um, it will you want you can have a 64-bit and 32-bit image I'm only dealing with 64-bit he's got four gigs of RAM he's got a 64-bit processor there's absolutely no reason why I'd be installing 32 if you have a reason or if you're running into this sort of problem on another device and for whatever reason you want a 32-bit you can choose that uh, really even if if the computer didn't have say more than two gigs of RAM I, I would still install the 64-bit just because of uh, performance. It's, it still seems to run better. It has more capability. So if you do get the RAM later on, you don't have to reinstall your Windows. Uh, that's a whole other topic of 64-bit versus 32-bit. Just go with the 64. Uh, you can choose your Windows 10 type. Uh, if you're running an N edition, Go ahead, grab the N, single language. We're just going to grab the standard Windows 10. And I'm United States English. Hit next. And you can create a flash drive. So if you plug in a flash drive, this will actually write a bootable flash drive image to that flash drive. So then you can just put it in a machine. Uh, depending on your machine type, this Dell here, you're going to want to hit F12 as your boot menu. And come up and choose that flash drive. You can boot off that just like it was uh, an optical drive or uh, any other flash drive that you want to boot off of or choose another hard drive, but it would create a installation media on this flash drive. In the process of doing so, it will completely wipe out the flash drive. We're not gonna do that. We need to work with an ISO in order to tear it apart and use a couple of these other tools. So you're gonna to choose create ISO. It should ask me where I wanna go because I don't actually wanna do this. 
um, desktop. Uh, you can just save it to the desktop. I already have one, so I'm going to skip this. But when you choose next, it will bring up that prompt that just had. As soon as I hit OK, it's going to start downloading it from the internet. I don't need to do that. I already have one. So we're going to close this right out. For me, you'll want to actually do that. I'm going to create a folder, uh, Win 10. And over. Here, give me just a second. Okay, so I'll bring this over and we will go to operating systems, Windows 10, 10, and this is same install media from uh, April 14th. It's the same image that you would be downloading at this point in time. If you double click it, it will actually mount it inside a uh, virtual CD ROM. So you'll actually have another uh, CD-ROM object that you didn't previously have. Grab this over. Actually, I don't even need to do that. I want to highlight all this stuff. Drag it over. That's going to take a moment. All right, so we've got essentially our entire Windows installation set up here. The next tool we're going to want to use, not Rufus, uh, media tool we already used, so that's out of here. Uh, this would technically be last. Uh, so view. I'm just going to kind of line these up in order. So next, you're going to want to get uh, NT Light Setup, which is how it's going to allow us to modify the Windows installation media. We're going to actually inject the graphics driver that is needed to make this work. Um, I'm not sure why this is going, why Windows 10 doesn't have this support, but uh, if we bring up, uh, and we should get an AMD page, and I believe, over to our downloads, um, notebook graphics, be the HD series. That was what the. Just to make sure, because we want to make sure we do this once. Um, HD 4250. So as we look in this, we have HD 41. I guess that would be. Oh, that's not in HD. So then we're going to go with this option here. And we're going to do 864. And I will actually put a direct link to this so you can skip that crap that I just went through. A 113.1 and then a 13.4 driver. Uh, this one's a couple months later. It looks like it resolved uh, a driver crash in Company of Heroes. So it looks like you can actually do a little bit of gaming on this uh, graphics processor. So we're going to download this, which if you look, it was on beta 13.4. Uh, what you're going to want to do is run this, and we're going to pretend like we're going to install it, because I am not installing this driver. I have an NVIDIA graphics card. I have no AMD graphics on my machine, so I have absolutely no use for that. Uh, but what we can do, and I didn't have anything here, we'll just click on desktop. This will actually create a folder on the desktop. So this will spit out the files, extract it, decompress it, and put it in a usable format that we are able to then grab the driver and then inject it inside this so that when we do the actual installation, the graphics driver's there and it, and it works. So when this comes up, I'm just going to hit cancel. And as you look in here, everything we need. So next thing that we're going to need is the NT light setup. And again, you can just Google that. Um, where is, I will include a link in the description, but it'll bring up a little page over here. ntlight.com slash download. Uh, I'm running the 64 bit because my system is a 64 bit system. So download that. I actually already have it installed. I just did a base install all the way through. I'll actually 
actually reinstall real quick. Accept the EULA, create desktop, finish, and it automatically launches. So what I'm going to do is tell it to forget this, and I will add. So that Windows 10 that I just copied over, we're going to click here. Next, and it's going to show us all our options inside. So I'm going to start off with the Home Edition. Is that is what he's actually licensed for the upgrade and it's going to tell us it's got to convert it to a standard WIM file format. Just hit OK, sit back, and let that run for a minute. Paying a lot of attention before. OK, so now we're here. I'm going to choose that Windows Home. We're going to go up to Add. Or, nope, over here on the left. We want to integrate drivers. And then do we do it? Yeah, so we do Add. Uh, we're going to do Folder with multiple drivers. So we're going to go back up to the desktop. You're going to choose the AMD folder, Packages, Drivers, Display. If you want the 64-bit, so that's going to be the 86A. Select Folder. If we look, there's going to be a couple graphics uh, options in here. Uh, 42 series, so that'll cover us right there. So when you have these integrated, well, in this list, you want to go back up to Finish. Create ISO. Uh, we're just going to choose desktop again. And uh, let's see, we're going to do uh, M5030. We're going to do Win 10 uh, 1703. We're just going to save it as that. So that way I have uh, quick access to that. We're going to dump that to the desktop. Label is perfectly fine. I'm not going to worry about that. And we're going to click process. So what that will do, it will reference the original files in here that we pulled off the clean ISO. It's going to grab the drivers from this folder here, pack them inside there. Then it's going to recompress and rebuild that ISO image and dump it onto the hard drive. In which case... Most of you will probably want to use Rufus. Okay, so that's actually done, and we have our new ISO. I would just use this uh, for my doings. Uh, drive E. So what I would end up doing is, so inside this hard drive, so I've got two of these, I've got a silver one and a black one. Uh, so I would go down to operating systems, Windows, 10, just dump this in here, is what we'd use for me, perfect. Uh, so if you look, you're only going to need probably a 4 or 8 gig uh, image. This would have made the size of the ISO slightly larger. So this is uh, 3.98, and this is the one that we were using before. So if I pull up properties on that, 3.38. That's interesting. That's quite a bit of enlargement. Hmm, must not do as uh, heavy of a compression. So that's the image we want located here. So with Rufus, I want to run yes, uh, choose the 32, you choose an ISO, the one on your desktop, next, and hit start. Start it up, tap F12, and then choose whatever the name of your flash drive is. If it's a SanDisk, a Data, Crucial, uh, or whatever brand, choose that as your boot, uh, USB flash, and or, or the model name, depending on how it presents it. And you should be good to go. That is how you can apply the same sort of thing, uh, building drivers directly into a system. And that way when you install it, you've got your drivers right there and you don't have to worry about it after the fact. You used to do a ton back in the uh, Windows XP days. I do it a lot with updates, forcefully feed those in. And that way I didn't have all those updates coming down through, through uh, Windows updates after you do it. A Windows install, especially after Service Pack 3, because they never came out with a 4, and you'd have all those updates after a system setup. Alright, so that's going to wrap that up. Thanks for tuning in.